Of course her umbrella is a gun. Of course it is. <gasps> oh, shit. Um... Did he fall into a black hole? What? What happened? <laughs> Subscribe, please! So, obviously, as I was saying like a few minutes ago, we have the Ghost Frontline 2 Exilium EN official Twitter literally posted earlier today the launch announcement. The Elmo is about to depart. So essentially, the... I love that they were true to their word because they said that like they were doing the last closed beta and if everything was going well, then the game would release shortly after. The closed beta ended like a few days ago, right? So it ended in like, it's happening. The game is going live December 3rd. It's been officially announced. We are excited to announce that Girls Frontline 2 Exilium will be officially launched on December 31st. Uh, December 3rd, sorry. I saw the exclamation mark. I was like, that's a one. It's not. Thank you, Commander, for your support and companionship. Let's get ready to embark on this journey together. And obviously, it's uh, it has... You can pre-register already on the official website. Do do that. And there are some pre-registration targets that can allow us to unlock a bunch of stuff. So I can show you right here on the website, main website. We already have 3 million pre-registration, pre which unlock unlocked us a lot of stuff. But we could get a free cheetah, which is this girl there, as well as some, I think those are pool stuff at 5 million. I don't know. So do, 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 do that if you're interested in the game. Oh, they're pretty close to 4 million. So we're very close to getting that, uh, that thingy over there. Um, so yeah, you, you can follow, you can do all of the stuff to get some, some bonuses. And obviously, this is all about the game. So if you guys don't know, Ghost Frontline is actually, as the title says, it's a sequel to a gacha game that was on phone. I think it was actually announced for uh, end of service recently. Um, and it used to be a kind of 2D chibi game um, like this here. Uh, you would kind of just send your chibi characters in, in combat and they would fight like enemy robots. I actually don't know much about the story, but essentially all the girls are like uh, tactical dolls. So they're like, uh, they're kind of like Nikkei's, right? They're like, uh, they're tactical machine made to fight wars, right? And every single girl represents a real life gun, right? So it's kind of like the Azul lane of guns, okay? Uh, and essentially... Um, the sequel takes place, I think, 10 years after the end of the first one. And essentially, the commander, which is a protagonist, and the girls kind of split up for a while, and then they get back together. I don't know how long it is. Maybe it's less than 10 years. Uh, but now they're back again together, and you get to spend time with them, learn what they've been up to, and obviously, main story shenanigan ensues. So the very interesting part for me is that, um, first of all, the gameplay and look of the game is completely different. The game is now a 3D, uh, kind of top-down, XCOM-like game. It's a tactical turn-based game where you use cover, special abilities with all of your girls, and uh, you fight enemies that way. There's also a autoplay system if you don't want to, you know, always have to do things manually. Personally, I'm probably going to play the game manually unless I'm, like, I'm just trying to autoplay stage that I've already done and I just want to do them quickly, right? But otherwise, I'll play it uh, manually. Here we can see a bunch of the girls have already been announced. Obviously, we have Groza. Uh, she's a Bulwark class. So we have some class. We have some different classes. Uh, Bulwark, Vanguard, Sentinel, Support, Vanguard, Support. Um, I wonder if Sentinel is like supposed to be like a sniper. Um, and then Bulwark is like a tank. And Vanguard is like the warrior, and obviously his support is going to be, you know, like either a healer or a buffer, right? So here we have Groza, a mature and composed elite doll. She is undeniably the heart of the team. Despite the team's member diverse personality, she seamlessly unites their strengths with her presence. Nothing will become a problem. And we get to see, like, the illustration that looks great, right? Because we both have, like, beautiful 2D art as well as a 3D model, which is pretty cool. And we can see all of the characters here. 
and the illustration, they are absolutely fantastic, right? So I'm super excited about this. And here we actually have kind of a, a briefing of like the story here, right? So uh, year 2064, the former large PMC Griffin is preparing for disbandment and reorganization. The URNC is officially established. Uh, the profit-oriented organization is bounty hunters operating, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's a lot of things. You can check it out on the official website if you want to. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of information here. You can learn a lot about the different factions and, like, the the different teams or uh, kind of, like, the, the politics aspect to the game if you do want to. It is rich in lore and world building. Um, here we have some announcement recording like the center procurement but this was for the early access i believe um but this is probably going to be the same for when the girl the the game actually releases right so keep that uh in mind i will probably do some videos regarding like the banners that are to come so i'll keep you updated in that regard wasn't girl frontline just world what one with cute girls uh no i don't think so uh, I don't think so. When I started playing the game, I tried it a little bit, and it was not well, well won. Um, so yeah, probably not. The same way that uh, Azure Lane is not World War II or anything like that. It's just it has ships uh, from very some periods, but it doesn't follow real history. Uh, and I don't think it follows real history in this one either. Anyway, moving on. So let's actually watch like the trailers. Um, I've been meaning to do that for a long time. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six trailers I actually want to watch. Uh, the devlog, I've actually already covered it. So I'm not going to go over it again. They were just asking a bunch of questions regarding skin, etc. Do check the video. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. So first of all, we have the announcement trailer. That was three months ago. Dead Flame Reignited Ghost Frontline 2 Exilium. By the way... For a bit more information, the game has been out in other servers. This is the global release. So there is actually a lot of gameplay out there. There was some uh, closed beta as well. So if you actually really want to see the game, how it plays, there's a lot of information, right? All right, let's have a look here. Mika T. What is pretty interesting is like this style, like uh, this artistic style looks very like quote unquote plastic. But I mean, it kind of makes sense for a game that's about tactical dolls, right? <laughs> it uh, it kind of reminds me of the art style of like other games like uh, Snowbreak, for example, right? It's not bad. The animation is looking pretty good. I feel like I see more and more games that goes for this. Uh, like 3D aesthetic, still trying to capture the maybe an anime art style. The, it's a it's an interesting mix, and I kind of like it. It's not bad for sure. I like how this is a drone, like an helicopter drone, but I also like transport the the characters. But this trailer make it look like a uh, an infiltration uh, game. Oh my god, use the passcode. <laughs> um, that doesn't sound good. I'm sure she'll be fine. Oh, big shield, baby, let's go! Bam! They have good teamwork! Look at them walk! Jesus, she ain't got no time! Instant aim! That's an Apex legend! Oh, thank you, T. Ooh, that ain't what you want. Oh, Groza! The team, the squad is here! Ooh, evil character. 
We love him. I like a girl with the with the umbrella. Or parasol, even. Jesus. Oh, Paris got wrecked. I need to like find a video or like just a recap of everything that happened in the first game so I'm like caught up for when the second game comes out. Because I want to know everything. Ooh. Hey, leave her alone. She's a potential wife for the kitty. How dare you? Jesus! They don't mind the blood, huh? They just go for it. I feel like so many of those games just, like, don't have blood whatsoever. When it comes to, like, cute anime girls shooting guns. But yeah, they don't mind. I can respect that. Man, they annihilated them easy. What the hell is that? So as far as I remember, uh, the story in the first game, there was something about how... So essentially they built dolls to fight wars. It, like I don't remember if it was like a mercenary or something like that happened. But essentially at some point, some of the dolls decided they didn't want that. And they just became like... They were like fully sentient and decided to revolt. Um, so that's kind of what happened. There were like some evil dolls, essentially. Oh, that's gonna be a grenade inside, right? Yep. Classy grenade inside the tank. Classic move. I like this girl. Jesus. Hi. Ooh, Ada. Oh, 1v1 me, bro. What is that? Oh, okay. Big robot. Oh, shit. Coming soon. Indeed. And now we know when. That was a fun one. That was that was pretty long, too. Uh, we also have a prologue trailer. That was a month ago. I never got to fully watch it, so let's have a look. -sies. The Flames of War Reignited. Okay. The music is very whimsical. I think that's the in-game graphic. Oh shit! It's a cute mushroom! That's a very interesting trailer. Kind of reminds me of um, Maquette. Maquette. Ma. I don't remember how to call it. Creepy as freak. I like the music. She's shutting down. Plug her back into the socket. She needs recharge. Uh, 
All right, that was an interesting one. It's very stylized. It has me very confused. I guess she was essentially... This was, this was like reliving the past uh, trauma that she's had, I guess. So she was kind of like falling back and we were seeing like uh, memories of like the conflict she's had to go through in the first game, I assume. Intriguing. All right, next we have the preview of the closed beta test. Yeah, so that's what happened. That was like that was like 12 days ago, right? So this was around the time the closed beta test was happening. Uh, so I think that's released at the same time as they were announcing it. So let's have a look here. Sunborn and Mika team. I don't know. Have they ever done anything else? <laughs> Apart from Girls from Fine? Oh, actually, I think they did. They had like a spin off game in the same world. I think they even have a solo game in the same world, actually. Embellishing the trees. Ooh, I like her. There it is. There it is. This is this. I like this. I like my beautiful XCOM gameplay. Mm. Yes, sir. You have a cover system, you have skills, but it's hot waifus. It doesn't get better than that chat. <laughs> but. That looks like a boss in Zen Lesson Zero. <laughs> oh man, that girl was not under any cover. Bad move. Ooh, I like her. Big heal. Did she sleep? Oh! What a smooth transition! Is that a Bunoi? I think it's a Bunoi. Nemesis. I like this one, she's a cutie pie. <gasps> Cat! She's like me! No! Uh, pizza girl, of course! Oh, she has to be uh, a tank. She deployed like a shield. Oh, you can't... What the hell? There's so much customization on the guns. The dormitory. The best part of the game, the 3D dorm, let's go, the marriage system, let's go, the feet. <laughs> the, you know, for the people that are into that, hell yeah. All right, because I forgot to mention, of course you can marry them. Of course you can look at them being half naked in the dormitory. Of course you can. Of course, I would have nothing less. Uh, here we actually have a s prologue CG. Wait, isn't that what was here? Or is that like a different version? Right, let's have a look real quick. What, what is that about? The sample must be covered. Is that what we saw earlier? I will rewatch it. I don't think it's the exact same. Uh, I think it's like uh, cut a little bit and then we see some gameplay afterward. So it's not the exact same video as we saw earlier. Tactical dolls, gotta marry them all. True! I feel like in terms of like 3D anime, it's pretty good. I've seen proper anime look worse than that. So, you know, ain't bad. That girl with the umbrella. My god. Yes, please. Like, she has everything to be... But she literally has 
everything to be the edgiest character. The parasol at night, the monocle, the different eye color because nah, she ain't gonna have homo, uh, what's it called? Chromia. She has that heterochromia. The evil Lolita laughter is in. The sample, leave it here. Oh. Oh. I'm so so. This makes me so happy. As someone who's been waiting for XCOM 3 from Firaxis that has never happened, this is pure ecstasy. This is pure ecstasy. Good. Actually, better than sex. If all cat girls have a I don't you too? Not all cat girls have a I don't know what you're talking about. Valve in third games? That wasn't the game from Valve. How can you be listening to what I say and still be so off the mark? XCOM? No, it was not Valve at all. What do you mean? Either way, doesn't matter. We have hot white foods here. And that's what I only cares about. I only care about them. I like Dark Tour. I hope she's playable in the future. I won't hurry my team. Probably she won't be, but a woman can dream. Oh, it was an ambuscade. An embushity, as they say. I'm kind of excited for Ghost from Flying 2, which is wild because I've never played XCOM in any similar game. It looks fun. It looks fun. Tactical game with hot waifus shooting guns. Sign me up. Oh, she has like a big damage AOE with her ulti. Ah, can't go as no. Oh, she doesn't care. That's a chunky cat girl. Looking. Mm. Secure the box. <gasps> a box for the cats. Of course, it all makes sense. You won't be so lucky. Oh, don't worry. With the dorm system, I'm gonna get lucky. I like that there's a lot of like... Uh, they really like put a lot of like small cutscenes in between like the, the story missions. It really adds to the immersion in my opinion. That's really cool. Two weeks. The game has been officially released. Release? No. It's been officially announced today to be released on the 3rd of December. So yes, in about two weeks. And I am so excited. On the 3rd, we're getting this game. On the 5th, we're getting Infinity Nikki. Mama, eating good as a gacha gamer. Of course, Umbrella is a gun. Of course it is. <gasps> oh, shit. Um, did they fall into a black hole? What? What happened? Oh, they're still here. How did they survive? Oh, okay. <laughs> All the videos was just like DM. Uh, they had in the App Store. So, yeah, there were some, like, um, I think it wasn't official, but essentially there were a few speculation. I think there was also a, uh, there was, like, a release date that showed up on the PS Store a little while ago. Uh, but for the App Store, I think it was, like, the estimated release date. It was not absolutely official, but now it has been confirmed. Let's put it this way. And this is the latest video that actually released eight days ago. And we have the traceback system. All right, let's see what this is about. Acknowledging that a significant portion of the world is affected by collapsed radiation contamination. That's not good. Recognizing that collapsed radiation endangers human life, which ah! threatens the survival of human civilization. We don't mean humans. We just get the tactical dolls. They're the better, they're the evolution. 
Murray, please save us. It found us. We need to leave. Ah! I deduce that a completely new form of intelligent a lid creature has emerged in the black zone. What oh, I mean is, it's obvious. They can build structures using collapsed crystals. After all, only a lids can survive in black zone. The wind has shifted lately. No Be sure to notify every household. Okay. What? <coughs> so I assume this is like the main story, right? To not go outside when it snows. Um. Did you see that? So much snow. How high is the collapse radiation level now? Let me check. Too high. God. The collapse of pendulums have bloomed to this extent. The collapse radiation level might be in the tens of thousands. What? That's a big number. The adults all say that green zones are very safe. <laughs> if we reach the green zone, we'll be safe for sure. We'll never have to worry about collapse radiation again. Or the Aelids. Or the Viorgers. Where there's light, there's hope. Goodbye, Ander. We'll meet again in the green zone. Okay. Ender? That sounds like a guy's name. In my Ghost from Plane 2? I don't know, man. It's pretty cringe. What if I get NTR'd? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we changed the past, unlock memories. Okay. Relief past experiences between. Let me see, let me see. It went so fast. Relief past experiences between the commander and the dolls. Let me see. There was like a lot of information on the screen right there for a second. So, Elmo Cloud Server, time limited events, story campaign, past events. Oh, so there's a. We might be able to see past events even after they're done. Supply mission, combat simulation, okay. Trace back. So we have character archive, trace back, and weapon index. So, trace back, I wonder if this means story from the first game. Classified briefings, complete side missions, record key items, and log various information. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just like storyline of stuff that happened before the game begins, but we, we get to play through them. Oh, what was that? I'm sorry, I'm pausing a lot because I really want to see everything. Peace and happiness. Operation record. Ode. So I wonder if this is like one story for every character. Classified briefing, complete side mission, record key item, unlock various information. You can unlock some... Uh, oh! So you can see here that you have some handmen lucky knots. And every mission costs like an amount of them. So I assume that you can get like a few every now and then. I don't know. I wonder if it's like a, a weekly, um, a weekly thing you get, and then so you can do like a certain amount of um, those record every week. I wonder how you unlock, how you get them. Oh, so you can even get some briefings and stuff like that. Yeah, this is just like the lore dream. Yeah, some of them are straight up fights. That's cool. That you can challenge. Massive record. Yeah, that allows you to to review the main story and the event storyline. Uh, th this is this is essentially a big archive system, which I mean that's cool, right? I feel like it doesn't necessarily need an entire video just for that. It's like, oh hi, uh, this is a video to tell you that uh, the thing you've seen, you'll be able to see them again from the archives. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind, I'll take it, but it's like, okay. Um, but, uh, yep, yeah, it's pretty fancy trailer for what is ultimately a collection of supplemental side stories. Not to complain, by the way, it's the people dive into the rabbit hole, there's the microverse lore that I'm all for, it. there it is. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm very curious about all of this. So that was nice. This is essentially everything that's been... Um, put out uh, on terms of like official videos in their their official like uh, global YouTube channel. But that's not the only thing that's there, right? We have a lot of shorts that actually shows like all of the characters or like some information regarding the characters, right? And I'm actually going to be taking time to check every single one of them. Uh, maybe not all of them because like here it seems to be... Like, here we have Groza, but she's here as well. 
but I'll try to check at least every single one. Like, no duplicates. I won't do it today, but I'll probably do a video where, like, I'm probably going to react to all of them and uh, see what we have. But, like, even here we have... Oh, there's, like, character preview and character showcase. There's, like, both of those things. So, like, yeah, this is the preview for Groza and this is the showcase for Groza. So I'll probably do that for every single character. Check the preview and their showcase. And uh, after I'm done with everything that's been out, I'll probably do, like, a... I will probably do a tier list and say, like, which girl I think is, like, the coolest or the most interesting. Anyway, stay up here for that kind of content in the future. And thank you for watching. Good shit. Excited for the game. Cannot wait. We'll be streaming it. Cheers.